The rain falling right now could contribute to more flooding concerns around the metro. And it comes as feet of water remain in Kansas and Missouri weeks after historic flooding. A lot of people dealing with this new at 1041 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey, Dempsey shows us one area still recovering. A lot of impounded waters were here, and locally in this area, we've had about three inches of, of rainfall this week. For areas impacted by historic Missouri River flooding this year, this week's rain has made things even worse. This is prime productive farmland. Heavy rain adding to flooding that's now made this cornfield in Winthrop, Missouri, resemble a lake. The wet conditions now wiping out farmland. You're going to have a total loss of income this year from not being able to plant. And leading to worries anytime rain comes like this week. North, we have no protection from the levees now. Our uh, lands and properties and businesses and homes are all still very vulnerable. With more rain expected this week and likely in the weeks and months ahead, plenty of concerns still remain here, especially with one of the levees that you see over here partly washed away. All of this as leaders continue to decide on a relief package in Washington, D.C. to help communities impacted by flooding. A thousand miles away, Congress has debated whether to make disaster declarations for counties hit by flooding, possibly leading to billions of dollars in federal aid. Today on the Senate floor, Roy Blunt spoke on the need to prioritize the response. The assistance that would be uh, impacted by this will be vital. It's important. We need that kind of assistance now. Aid still being discussed in the Capitol as areas hit by flooding prepare for more yeah, wet weather ahead. Cool. Things are just on hold in some cases. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. And right now, dozens of roads are closed around Missouri because of the flooding. That includes I-29 up north, which has remained closed for weeks.